Right, chaps. Uh, interesting one here. I, I'm, I'm with Vital Baits. I've been with them, uh, well, it was a year last September, so we're into, you know, 14, 15 months now. Very settled, really very interesting company, forward thinking, lots of interesting ideas. Uh, they've given me free reign to do what I wanted to do, so which was awesome. So I've put together a bait called, I nicknamed it the Mojo, because I really feel like I've got my mojo with fishing back. I had uh, a bit of a traumatic time earlier in the year, uh, got COVID, ended up having a, a stroke afterwards, which some of you may have heard about, really you know quite a, a life-changing thing uh, it could have been a lot worse so i thought for one for one moment it was all over and now i'm fishing again catching loads of fish really happy with life and i got my mojo back but so i thought what a great name for the bait uh, and the bait has turned out to be a little bit more stunning than i could ever imagine really i thought it would be good because we'd already got the formulation of this in my mind from a, a long, long time ago when I uh, had my own bait company, you know, some years ago. This was something that was circulating around in my mind. The, the group of spices and the family of spices I've blended together in this and uh, some of the other ingredients, which I'm not going to go into actually. Uh, a lot of people are breaking the neck to, to talk about what's in a bait sometimes. And I think I don't really want to with this because... Uh, it's the culmination of many, many years of experimenting and messing around, and uh, I just just let it be what it is. Anyway, uh, it, a lot of people say, is it a fish meal? Is it a meat meal? Well, it, well, it's a kind of fish meal, but there's uh, there's milk proteins in it and uh, some some uh, meat meal. Let's put it that way. Uh, several different things in it. And it's one of those baits that as soon as you pick it up, it's very hard to define what the smell is. It's just a different range of things hit you. Anyway, uh, we decided, as you do, to, to put it out to, when we were reasonably happy with it, to put it out to across Europe to all the different testers, people that wanted to try it that are with, with the group. And uh, whew, how can I put it? It's been instant. <laughs> That's one thing. It's it's a big fish bait for sure because we've had some ridiculous big fish caught on it very, very quickly as well and numbers and it just keeps working and working. Uh, I recently ran out of it and uh, my, my confidence just went without it. That's how good it's been. Uh, so we've decided that it's it's ready now to release. You can see the uh, some of the glugs we've got with it and things. They've not got any labels. That's because it's in the st testing stage still. Uh, that's a that's a hook bait dip. That's a food glug. Now, this is the colour of the bait itself. Uh, I happen to like that colour. I think it's a, tremendous. And uh, you'd have. I wish we had smelly vision so you could actually smell the bait because it'd be really pleasant. You know. Same again as the uh, the other baits in the range. The uh, the sizes are 14s, 18 mil, and 24s. Uh, I do believe Nicky could do 30s if people wanted 30s, but I don't think he'll be getting too many orders for 30s, but uh, he can do them. Uh, we've got the, the matching uh, ground baits and uh, uh, stick mixes and everything that we're going to be doing with this and uh, everything you would expect like that. And uh, pop-ups, wafters. We're doing cork wafters, which I prefer. I hate doing copies of a bait, you know, where you're using microspheres and it's a pop-up mix and you're adding dye to it to try and make it look like a food bait. I don't really like that. So we're using cork dust, doing the wafters like that. And uh, I think the pop-ups as well will go the same route. And basically, um, it, it's been a sensation, this bait. I, uh, I've caught the English 40 on, on film with it. We went filming in Devon, Emperor Lakes, uh, me and my son, and uh, with Simon McCabe, we, we just made a, a film just for a bit of fun, really, just to show, you know, the essence of fishing. Uh, the place had been fishing quite difficult and slow, and uh, we had some fish showing. At the time, I didn't have any wafters or pop-ups with this stuff, so I was just using 18 milli straight out of the, out of the bag. Uh, Guy did the same. I had a 40, one of the 
the, the character fish of the, the lake called Moth. It's fished maybe nearly 50 years old. And Guy had a, a big plated, beautiful mirror. And that was the first night, you know. Uh, I had another smaller fish later in the session. We, we didn't do long. And it's sort of been the case everywhere we've taken this bait. And uh, some, of the, some of the guys that are testing it are, are going mental about it. That'll be coming out in January, by the way, so look out for that one. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted as well about any updates with it. And, uh, but it, it, it's certainly one to compare against any bait you're using. I'd be quite happy to stand up against any other bait that you care to ever try. That's how confident I am in it, and uh, I wouldn't say that lightly because some some of the baits, are, you know, every Tom, Dick, and Harry's putting them in there, and they've got baiting teams on every lake, and they put in tons of it in, so it's almost like a natural food. But this would stand up favourably against it. I'm confident enough to say that. So look out for that one. It's called the Mojo, and uh, nice one. <laughs>